All right, welcome back to the Outlaws. I have been really messing with this computer for the last few days, and I'm doing my absolute best, but it just seems to not like me. We're going to start right about here, because I've already been reviewing most of these. I'm just not, I don't have the time to go over it again, because I'm going to try and do another video later today. But we'll see. Well, let's get into it, guys. Let's just see how it is. Well, I've already mentioned this before, but um, yeah, women get into situationships that just never lead to a relationship. And I think that's just... Uh, they need to work on that. They need to choose better men. They need to choose better situations because women usually can tell when they are in a good or bad situation of a sense of like if they're going to give a relationship or not women who stay in this situ in this area are usually looking for people who are not looking for any of this so you know it's just what they choose uh, i've already seen this but yeah i mean oh no you're getting your bed ready whatever shall i do Oh no. If you stop being a stupid bitch and reply to the people that actually show interest in you instead of chasing someone that you know is gonna break your heart. Which again, I would like to say, I think a lot of women know they're getting into situations that will break their heart, but they just want to act dumb or, you know, plausible deniability and just say, oh no, 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 I will, I'll, I, there, he's gonna, he's a good guy. I mean, sure, he looks like he could go to prison tomorrow, but yeah, he's a good guy. He he treats me right. No, no, you know he's not gonna treat you right, but you just want to keep what it, you just want to keep that guy because he's supposedly every single check bar, every single check box you have. He, is you get into those situations and you know what you're getting into. Very rarely are you in a situation where someone truly just lies out out their mouth every second of the time. That that's exceptionally rare. Choose better. Oh, look at us. We're in love and happy about dinner. So I get fucked, both of you. I, I, I just love that every time because so there's some men who are like that, but I still think they're funny, man. I, they're maybe not the best people to hang out with, but still, I think they're funny. It's great. But yeah, no, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to respond to that one. And my thing again is, I think you choose that. You chose that. You could easily text a guy that you know would treat you and try to become your boyfriend, but you probably don't like him, or you probably don't even think he's cute enough, even though he's probably cuter than the average person. Or maybe he is average, but he's cute, but he has a good personality, he has a good job, all that. He's just not a bad boy. He doesn't get the tingles going or whatever the hell. Y'all, if you keep going down this rabbit hole of I'm looking for someone who sparks my interest. You are going to forever. Eventually, you're just going to be looking for the sun and just, you know, die from exploding sun. And I, I know y'all won't understand that analogy, but the analogy is if you keep looking for something that sparks, you're eventually going to get something that's really dangerous and bad. And then it's just not, then it's also going to burn out and it just won't, it will be nothing at the end. So that's my two cents for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm, it is. No offense, but it is. I just, like, really want to be dating someone, you know? Like, I'm really ready to be in a relationship. Hey, uh, you want to hang out sometime? <laughs> First of all, you. Like I, like I said, they say one thing, but immediately when something happens that could give them exactly what they just said they wanted, yeah, they say no because it's not what they want. Even though it is, in a sense, or it's what they asked for. It's not what they want, but it's what they asked for. They asked for a relationship, or they said, I'm ready. Someone goes in that isn't necessarily ticking all the boxes, and they just go, you know what? No, we're good. I don't want you. Even though it's probably the best option they probably have. No, no offense, but it probably is. 
I, I don't. This one is very simple and stu stupid. It's just, yeah, it's very. Oh. Because I'm single, the only time I open my covers is for this. Mm. Yeah, that's 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 disgusting. I I don't know. Don't don't women don't go for that. Don't go for that. That's disgusting. I mean, I don't know. A nice guy, it does probably mean business in a good sense of like wanting a future, but at the same time, if you don't want nice guys, then what do you want? Bad guys who aren't going to treat you right? Because when you add, when you say you're attracted to the bad boys, you can't just say, oh, I want a bad boy, but then I want him to treat me like a nut. That's not how it works. The, he's going to be a bad boy all the way through. And then when don't get surprised when something bad happens. Wow, who who thought? Who likes athletic boys? Um, a cute boy asked me to go run a marathon with him, and I thought if I said no, he's gonna ask somebody else to go with him. So what did I do? I said yes. So now it's five in the morning, and I'm running, Jamie, for a marathon. <laughs> uh, I said this before trying to get my other videos going but guys you want to be the m guys that women will break rules for just Pearly's things shout out to that her she says something like that in one of her own little podcast and yeah you you want to be the guy that girls break their own rules for because that means you are attractive, you are high value, whatever the hell. But it's just, yeah, you want to be the person that people will start killing over dead for. N not legitimately, but you want to be that guy. You don't want to be, you know, sin. Because, sorry, we just, we don't play that game around here. Sorry, we don't do that. What is the real reason why you're single right now? There are 8 million people in this city. Oh, yeah. It sounds like a lot, right? It does. But half of them are women. And it's hard as I tried in college. I don't swing that way. How hard did you try? Let it go. Okay. So, four million men. And then you gotta have some age limits. Let's say over 20, under 40. Keep it sexy. That's a million. Right. We're talking about a million guys. We really hope that's food from downstairs. I think it is, but she makes a good point. But that sh that whole thing makes a really good point of just because of that, you had ten, you had a million guys, but because you're so picky, you dropped it down to a point that is just you're not gonna get. You either waited too long, you're too old, or you just do not have good aspects or qualities enough to really get that one percent of guys you need to broaden your standards so that you can have more options because if you like she said if you go for that what point one percent guy you're not gonna get him i don't care how lucky you are you're not getting him he's he's definitely not getting you he's getting the model he's getting a 10 or he's getting an 11 out of 10 model exactly that's my point he's getting some that you no offense probably could never get to like i said i'm not trying to be mean but it's just you want this 1% that barely exists, and he probably doesn't even look at you. No offense, but it's just it's how it is. Don't get mad about it, but just how it will. What is the real reason why you're single right now? I realized that I'm probably just perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I don't Do you like Scott?
Can you calm down? Oh, yeah, he blocked your number because you look insane and you're acting insane on TikTok, miss. Don't want to take out her um, handle there, but whatever your name is. Um, first and absolute foremost, I think the guy got lucky because no offense, but if I ever had a gal pal or some that did this and I was like, oh, ooh, ooh, she, she acts like this on TikTok. Ooh, I, I dodged a bullet. I'm sorry, but it's just men are like, yeah, this looks crazy. But the point is, you already went for this man a year ago, forgot about him, possibly went on to several other, probably a, maybe a good amount of other people later on, and forgot that you're already in person. If it was online, maybe I would understand. But this was in person. You already forgot about him. He blocked you, which I think is probably a good idea. And for some reason, you are mad about this again. Like, now, to be honest, you're about average. No offense, but I don't see, like, too many problems here. But you do look a little crazy doing this. Uh, and I think the, the guy probably maybe, have, maybe saw that and was like, Mmm, yeah, no, I'm gonna save my soul on this one. But, look, that's just me. All right, guys, that's the, um, that's going to be the end of that video. I'm going to make more later on, maybe today, who knows. But, um, all right, I appreciate it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, um, put push that notification bell so you can see more. Um, I'm just trying to slowly grow. Um, this is also a fun hobby. Pissing me off recently because I can't make videos with good quality, but we'll, we'll see. I'll modify whatever I need to because these are my first few videos, so we'll see. I'll edit it, see how y'all like it, but I hope y'all have a good time. Hope y'all enjoy your weekend. <laughs> Please stay safe with everything. Be careful of companies right now. I'm sorry, but I've noticed a few things with my own phone and stuff like that. Just, just be careful out there, guys. And guys, don't, no offense, but be smart out there. I don't care what your plans are. Just be smart with everything. Things are going crazy, all right? Just stay safe, okay? I'll see y'all next time, alright? Peace.